In this video, I'm making the biggest sculpture I have ever attempted, a giant life-size monster. Oh my God. That's sick. He's a big lad. Um, I'm a little intimidated, I'm not gonna lie. This video is sponsored by Hearthstone Mercenaries. This is monster clay. This is my favorite clay and sculpture medium. We start off in a solid form. And as you can see, it turns into a full on liquid. It's really malleable and you will come to see how cool it is as we sculpt. Gromash Hellscream from the Warcraft franchise. I want to face him as any human would. And if I wet my pants, then that's a job well done. <laughs> First thing to do when sculpting is to start with an armature. So usually when you do an armature, you do it with what's called armature wire. I don't think this stuff will be strong enough at the size of a life-size skeleton, which is why I bought a life-size skeleton. <laughs> What better reference to the human scale than a human? I can explain. Actually, this is a really good timing. Rob has prepared for me a mood board. Gromash hell scream. That'll be very useful. Thank you, Rob. <gasps> oh, thank God, somebody got me out of that bag. Now I need to raise his width. It's gonna take a lot to fill out the armature. This isn't even close yet, but it's just the bare bones. <laughs> So time to leap into making the biggest armature I've ever made. The whole reason I got this skeleton, so I had something much more substantial to build out from, but the proportions were all wrong. So I fixed that up by putting a rod through the torso after cutting the upper arms short and securing those to the rod with armature wire run through it, secured it all up as much as possible with more armature wire. Next, this guy's looking like a bit of a skinny skelly boy and I needed to pack him out. Now, with previous armatures, I just did this with foil and armature wire to shape it all up, but this guy's far too big. So while I've never used it before, I thought I'd pack the middle with big chunks of foam cut to size. We're really expanding the proportions out here in our orcish way. I had to widen the shoulders and to really make him look powerful, his head has to be higher and his neck thicker and taller. So that means removing the head. Sorry, buddy. I mean, hey, at least I've got bragging points. I could tell people People, I was the one who beheaded Gromash Hellscream. It's starting to look pretty epic, especially when you look at it from like low angles. Look at that, oh my God. And then when we raise him, like already, like I can't work on him without him already being taller than me, but put him up another foot or two, and that thing is gonna be imposing. To finish off the armature stage, I'm gonna wrap this baby in foil and wire, which will enable me to be a little more specific about how I bulk out certain areas, but then also the wire gives it something to grip to, because otherwise the clay would just sort of slowly slide off. After all that, I finally had the armature I initially pictured. A lot of foil, a lot of armature wire, and this magical stuff I found in the studio. I don't know what it's called. It's like this craft aluminium mesh stuff, and it serves a purpose pretty much halfway between foil and armature wire. It holds its shape really well, super malleable. You can just tear it up. Probably should do this with gloves because it did cut up my fingers a little bit, but on top of the shapeability and the flexibility of it, it's obviously a wire mesh, which means it's got a lot of tooth and grabability for the clay to stick to, which will hopefully provide the perfect starting surface for my monster clay. Yes. Oh, look at that. It's like peanut butter when you take the lid off. You're like, oh, this is gonna be good. And you're like, you take the first scoop. This takes a while to heat up into a liquid form. And the reason I'm wearing gloves is it gets hot. I want it to be quicker because I'm impatient. So I got more microwaves. <laughs> All right, it's been six minutes. We're just gonna check in. If I just push down. Oh, there you go. We're popping up. We've got liquid happening. It's not quite fully liquid yet. Is it eight minutes? I think it's eight minutes. Solid on the surface and on the edges, but as soon as, in fact, there's like a film of solid on top and inside is just hot clay liquid. Oh God, oh God, I can't contain it. Oh no, oh no. So I need to try and keep it on. Keep it on, stay on, stay on. Don't you drip, 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 drip off. Oh my God. 
So that's what it looks like with one tub of monster clay. I have 20 more and I bloody hope it's gonna fill the rest of them. <laughs> All of a sudden it feels like 20 tubs may not be enough. Now I have these amazing references of what I'm gonna be trying to create. This is Gromash Hellscream from the Warcraft universe. One of the many amazing characters in Hearthstone Mercenaries. As I mentioned, Hearthstone Mercenaries is sponsoring this video, which I'm super excited about. For those of you who don't know, Hearthstone is a deceptively simple and insanely fun fast paced strategy card game from Blizzard Entertainment. Build your deck, start a game, and play your cards to sling spells, summon creatures, and command the heroes of Warcraft into duels of epic strategy. Now, Hearthstone Mercenaries is a brand new game mode in Hearthstone, combining roguelike and RPG elements into Hearthstone, which you already know and love. It's an entirely new way to play and master Hearthstone. Create a team of mercenaries using well-known characters and set out on a bounty. You'll need to strategize and play your cards right. And once you hand it in, you can claim your rewards and upgrade your mercenaries or unlock new mercenaries to use in your team. It even has a PvP mode for you hardcore players out there. Go check out Hearthstone Mercenaries. So stoked that they're sponsoring this video. Way excited to be sculpting Gromash Hellscream. But beyond that, it's just a universe full of incredible art, awesome lore and characters, and you can experience that in Hearthstone Mercenaries. But in the meantime, I have to try and make this look like this. I got a lot of work to do. Making good progress. Quite a challenge in a number of ways. Clay is either scalding hot, where it's easy to work with, but drips a lot. Then when it's in its best state, it's like taffy. And it's really hard work to move around and push and pull. Then it gets harder and I can't pull my fingers apart. <laughs> it's a workout, but he's a big boy. While it's not wise to backtrack to the armature at this point, I can't add more clay under here without it drooping and then potentially falling. It's asymmetrical and that really bothers me. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to cut about, or well, maybe a bit higher so I get to the armature, cut it short and then pack under. Have something a bit more even. So if I go maybe there, <laughs> this is so much work. <laughs> I'm afraid of hard work and in fact, you should subscribe. So much cool stuff planned. And this is the second major video in our new studio. So much to come. So join in the fun. I gotta be honest, kinda wanna leave it like this. <laughs> no, it's gotta go. The gods of symmetry have been appeased. Oh no, see what I was talking about? <laughs> but that's okay, because it doesn't have to have as much anymore. That's so funny. I, and I can't work on this until it sets more because obviously a little droopy at the moment. But, <laughs> problem solved, huh? It's alive. So I've just finished the blocking, uh, literally in some places, because his chin kept sinking, as you saw in the time lapses. And the further into this I've gone, the happier I am that I did a lot of that initial blocking with giant chunks of foam, because this is heavy and there's a lot of it, and I've got three tubs left. I'm confident I can take it all the way to the end. As you can see, it's pretty freaking big. Now comes the satisfying bit. I'm gonna take this very rough blocked orc, start to shape him and refine him with his anatomy and details to Gromash. 
me, go beast on them. I go beast, go deep, I OD on them. Apply pressure, put heat on them. Put that five zero zero degrees on them. Five hundred degrees, go dummy, go beast on them. I go beast, go deep, I OD on them. Apply pressure, put heat on them. Put that five zero zero degrees on them. Five hundred degrees, go down, levitate, going up, elevate. Watch me demonstrate, on time, never late I grind, celebrate, no pump fake, hesitate I been scoring every day, champagne Perrier Since 9-3, been in the box, now I'm stepping up to home Like straight out the sand lot, now I'm plotting on the globe I work hard, I show love, that karma steady growing Got this far, I go hard, let God take control I was starving, skinny, now my weight up Got no energy for haters See you trying, see you later See you later. I'm shooting for the stars Need no laser beam Blowing like the greatest But it's one who's always greater Oh hey, this is Gromash so far I have to say, the last couple of hours Have really lifted my spirits Because uh, we could flash back to what he looked like Not too, too long ago He's, uh, He had a long way to go But he's starting to look like Gromash And we're actually getting to the place where I can add details But I'm super stoked with my idea of adding Ping pong to the eyeballs To make them pop out like that and It makes me think what else we could do To just give it that little bit of edge So that the whole thing isn't clay Gareth had a great idea, doing white resin teeth because obviously the the big fangs of the orcs would just look so cool if it just really popped out so i'm going to give that a go see if i can print some in resin overnight and then i also wondered about hair we have a couple of wigs i'm not sure how well they'll work but i just i have to try <laughs> okay so this is uh this is aussie surfer gromash <laughs> <laughs> this is the Ronald Weasley Gromash. This is everything I hoped it would be and more. Bob Ross Gromash! <laughs> no? Okay, we're just experimenting. We do have a long hair black wig and Gromash has long black hair. Might stand a chance. What do you reckon? I feel like I might. We were doing this as like a joke. This is kind of cool. I think this will actually work. I can't believe it. Okay. I think I'm doing the wig. We just gotta take off the glisten. I'm not sculpting the hair. It saves a bit of time, means I can focus on some of the other details. Print the teeth. This is gonna be one of the coolest things I've ever made. This isn't the only crazy, huge, and incredible thing that we made in this studio this week. We built the entire Lion's Pride Inn. It's freaking huge. It's fully furnished in the interior. The whole team in the studio put into the project. So go check that out over on Tabletop Time. And this is, this is my best sculpture. This is my favorite sculpture I've ever made. You know what comes next? Epic reveal shot. Reveal. Yeah. How do we move it? Can't you just lift it? Oh my god! Yeah, nah, he's not going anywhere. Can we make it look cool here? Yeah. We have a green screen upstairs. This way! We'll pretend that it's not night time and we're not working late. It's because it's 9 p.m., but don't let them know that. That's how hard we work to make the coolest videos possible. Oh, uh, oh, gee, ooh. It's fine. All the way down there. Yeah, no, it's fine. Yeah. Oh! Whoa. Uh, you make him look good. What do you want me to do? You know what to do.
Did you make him look good? He did. You what? made him look good. That was how good was that, guys? No kidding. It's past midnight, and it's Gareth's birthday. Yay! Happy birthday, Gareth. What a freaking legend. Uh, this video is not over yet because uh, I have to come in tomorrow and see what the other guys think of Gromash. Gareth's taking his, his- Taking the day off. Taking the day off for his birthday. Well earned, my friend. Happy birthday. So it's the next day, uh, Gromash is ready to show off and I've got a few people in the studio I want to get their impressions in person. He's pretty big. So I'm hoping to get a bit of a reaction out of people. I'm gonna guide you, come back. Mm -hmm. to the right, come back, come back. This is a blind date, right? <laughs> what the fuck? All right. Whoa. Oh my God. <laughs> I didn't expect him to be that close. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> that looks really cool. That's sick. The lad is looking fine. <laughs> oh my god, that is so cool. Um, I'm a little intimidated, I'm not gonna lie. Very, very intimidated. Um, he's a big lad. He's got very nice muscles. <laughs> <laughs> I've got friends this big. <laughs> oh my god, the chains are so cool. I love the teeth. The tusks turned out really good. I love it, you put real hair on it though, that's amazing. Yeah, well, I didn't expect him to be that close as well. <laughs> I was like, ooh. His hair is so gorgeous. Oh my god, it is so cool. So here he is, my buddy Gromash. Bigger in person than you might imagine. 20 tubs of monster clay, I've used every single tub. But with that said, I have to say, this is my favorite video I've made in ages. This is just so much fun. It was a lot of work, so I really hope Hope you've enjoyed it and if you have please hit that like button i know you hear that all the time i say it and i'm like Ugh, i've heard that all the time but it really makes a huge difference and if you like seeing videos like this subscribe for more go on click that subscribe button you don't want to make grommash angry and you wouldn't like it he's angry in the meantime before my next video make sure to go over to tabletop time to check out the video where we made the lion's pride in the gold Inn from warcraft until next time i'll see you later